two main uh, red bait varieties that we get. So you'll see this one. It's a very thick brown husk. Right, that's a rock red bait. And then we have this one. Like little red dots in it. And uh, when you cut this open, it's normally like a lighter color. This is a sand red bait. So they also grow together in big clumps. So this is a preferred bait for uh, for Hulgan. I'll show you guys later when you cut it open what it looks like inside. All right. girls and uh, yeah haven't been here in many years and it's such an awesome place to come and visit used to fish this a lot this beach back in the day and a lovely lovely beach the only official beach in South Africa you can still drive because it's an official road on the mat uh, makes it very nice to fish and then I'm here with Rian uh, first time I meet Rian he's been ambassador almost three years we speak <laughs> often but physically fishing with him today is the first day so looking forward to that. Yeah, with the master here on uh, Makasa and uh, targeting some Kholyun. Beginning season, Ryan said uh, they're very healthy, the ones that's been coming out and here and there, big one takes the bait. So quite excited about today and uh, fishing this area again really brings back some really good memories. So yeah, busy rigging up. I'm gonna play with my iron feather, the ultra light. The new MQ BG, the 14,000, using 20, what's 20 pound J braid and a furrow, short fur leader, 5.5 five or 6 up. And then we'll just make up a, a small trace, but I'm going to steal there from the master to see what he does and uh, <laughs> I'll take my trace accordingly. So I even got two of Rian. Rademeyer and Vickers 2 Adrenaline and Circle Looks. I think they might be too big. I can't remember if I got one of those. But uh, we'll go through the hooks here and see what will work. Uh, so, let's go ask Rian. He's going to tell us. Have you seen a Maruto? Do you know Maruto? Yeah, that's a good, good girl. And I've got a small size too. And that's a good girl. And two O's. Two O's quite big. Yeah, it might be. Yeah. There's a lot of young fish as well, so you don't really want to lose or miss out on the young fish as well. Okay, so. Uh, so, yeah. And uh, if your bait presentation's right, then they will stick to the big fish as well. So, yeah. Okay. I think stop with them. I've got enough one of here as well. Okay. Yeah. So. Quickly. Just time I'm using a double figure of eight on the circle. Sorry, we couldn't bring the makeup goal this morning. <laughs> no, no, I should have done your makeup. <laughs> no, no problem. <laughs> uh, to about 35, 40 centimeter trace. And then we're fishing in this thick reef. <laughs> 
and fairly heavy sinker, five ounces if I need distance. Make it short and much thinner so that it can uh, put a nice weak spot in there. spot because I'm fishing very similar diameter that weak spot if you are onto an ice fishing against you snagged or bogged like they say in uh, international waters then uh, that should be the spot it breaks the weak spot mm. Get some, uh, steal some white muscle from real. Okay, white muscle. Aggie bait, Chiquita bait and tackle. Quick and easy. Uh, they freeze nice, they last quite long, eh? Yeah. So you can keep them in the, in the freezer for quite a few months. This is the one that's going to get the first fish. You build it on the back shank, you leave your hook proud, eh? Okay. No toothpick, no nothing. First bite already. Okay, all tied up. Put very little cotton in the bottom, put mainly a cotton up there, it holds the bait nice and up and creates a bit of a bundle in the bottom, a nice fluffy bundle. Um, that's what I like to do with this white muscle. And then we go and look for the spot. and then it's maybe easier to see it from the top it's a nice hole here but you can see there's broken reef on the outsides of that hole where the water lifts either a bit high and then breaks forms uh, a bit of foam there's nice color in the water as well it's not clean i'm still fishing for her so i like it So uh, we're going to do a quick white muscle 
Big presentation for you guys. I prefer the smaller muscles. So, you're gonna have the tongue part I've shown you guys earlier, but yeah, the tongue and then of course the gut part. So especially for gullies, they do prefer this. All right, so the, the main aim is to tie this part up nice and tight and to basically force them to feed onto that part. All right, so with a lot of young fish around in false bay at the moment, I do prefer the one hour adrenaline circles. Really, really nice hook. So we're going to start at the, the tip of the tongue <laughs> and work it through three times. Push over the shank, over the eye of the hook. Then just put it through the gut part. Now you're just going to use your, uh, your bait cotton just to shape it. The thing is you shouldn't pull it too hard so that the muscle, that it cuts into the muscle, just, just form it. So you let it hang like that. Just use your fingers just to drop it down and while tying it up. Nice and neat. I like a slightly longer profile for the bait as well. It's, uh, yeah, you can pick up steam brows, even the bellman, the cob, they, they really like this bait this time of the year. We do catch a lot of cob with this bait also. Not a big fish, but still, keeps they going. Now what you do, you just form your, just keep everything together there, the gut spot. And tie it off, and that's it. So pull it slightly like that, and now I can see your hook point still very, very proud, and it's nicely tucked away in the in the guts. And that's the profile you want. Okay, that's it. Right, we're gonna try and uh, have a look and see what happens with this one. This one's properly rotten, gone soft as you can see. It's not a lot in here. Having I 
So this fish is swimming around a long time. So that's all fat, like those double chin almost, right? Eh? Look at that. Stunning, stunning fish. Yes, Why yeah. that? That's a beaut, man. Thanks, man. Yeah. Stunning, stunning, stunning. You see? You can feel his yeah. power, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's fat. Stijf, lekker stijf vast met de hazen. Ja. En dan die onder lekker zacht en vlak. En dan trek je hem net op, zoals dat hij. Maar dat hard, zie je dit. Oké. Okay. Dan doe je het bij elkaar. Bij elkaar. En dan maak je net, geef een soort tak. Dan zie je een pontje dat hem op praat. Dat is perfect. When they say a spot has opened up, uh, it means that reefs like this, flat reefs like this, it's covered with little black muscles. So what happens when these little black muscles are exposed, fish like Khalyun and white steamers, they literally come in and they'll take it off like that. It's really soft. I mean, if you if you look at that, you can pop it like, like popcorn. Okay, so they will eat this, and there's a massive food source for them. So there you can have another look. Even the slightly bigger one, it's like you can pop it like that. And a lot of times when you, when you open up uh, steel brush of Hol Yun, and you'll find like these little black muscles, even black tail as well, are like, packed in their stomachs. And they will literally just move into onto these shallow banks on high tide and feed on these, uh, on these uh, little black muscles. So yeah, definitely something to keep in mind when you're looking for a spot to fish. So this one's undersized. Let me put this one back. Look at the circle. Look at it. 
Nagnagoyan. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Today, I'm stuck. Pulled me into the bricks there. Nice pull. Lovely, lovely condition. Beautiful fish. Okay. Nice one, mate. Yes, sir. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, the last time I fished for Hull, I was telling Rian, I think it's six years ago or seven years ago. It's the last time I fished at Betty's. And uh, never ever kept one to actually try and eat them in the years of fishing so I think today we're gonna try one of its size. I don't know if there's a size. That's big yeah there's holes on it. That's about a 40 centimeter that's nice. Okay. Uh, so awesome. so we go take him up. See you guys put in the comments if you can guess this hook. No hook. Used to be a very very popular hook for rock fishing. One whole unit, two more bites on a whole head like that. So we'll see if uh, there's a pattern in that. This one goes as well with a good bite. And maybe there's a preference in, in the head.
Czyli pod dziesiątą ze słyszę. Prawda? Yeah, you can't sit still, that's the last part of it. 